your first day of VBS, we're making fruit kebabs. So you can take any fruit you want, all of your favorite fruit, and you just put them on a stick. One of the sim easiest days for food. So you can put some bananas on, some strawberries, some grapes if you like red or green grapes, some strawberries, or really anything you want. So here's your fruit kebab. You can just set it here and make as many as you want for everyone in your family. And each one you can do in a different order. So you can put strawberries on this one. Then you can put grapes. Then you can put a green grape on. And then these, you don't even have to cook. So you can just take them and start eating them. So we are making fruit kebabs today because you saw chickens. And chickens are like people and like to eat fruit. So that's why we have fruit kebabs. So that's it for cooking on day one. Good morning. All right, we're going to try another try this at home for our farm theme. Um, this one we're calling utterly amazing and so we're going to practice what it's like to milk a cow so we have our pretend cow here which we created using two latex gloves a safety pin water rubber bands two chairs a broom some string you can use bowls or buckets and then we're also going to practice making our own butter and for that you need heavy cream small jars with lids, and if you want a little bit of salt, and definitely a lot of time and patience. So making butter and milking cows today are definitely going to practice patience. So why don't you guys see what it's like here? We can take turns. You can see our latex gloves are like the cow's udder. So we talked earlier about like how they would Hold the udder, like how you use your fingers. And you would have to like draw the milk down. And now a lot of farmers will use milking machines, but this is originally how it was done. And Alyssa Addison and Mackenzie here, their great grandfather was a dairy farmer for many, many years. So, right? Your grandpa knows all about this. And farmers, we know, don't really ever get a break. If you're milking cows twice a day, every single day, how's it going? Yeah. So do you know a real cow can produce around four gallons of milk a day? Is that cool? So are you getting a lot every time or is it? Yeah. Okay, so we've got um, jars here and we poured in a quarter cup of heavy cream. And all right, make sure your lids are on tight, girls. And then one hand on, all right, ready? And start a shaking. So we anticipate it's going to take around 10 minutes and you'll start to see it separate and you'll pour off the liquid on the top is the whey and then what will be left with will be your butter and we can salt it a bit and try it. <laughs> so I won't make you guys watch, it does, I won't make you watch 5 minutes, 10 minutes of shaking but we'll come back, give you guys a little update on how our butter came out. All right, so after approximately 10 minutes of shaking, can I see your jars? You can show me yours. All right, so go ahead and open them up and you're gonna pour it through this strainer. So we're straining off the liquid whey. All right, go ahead. And what we are left with, what'd you guys make? Yeah. All right, so um, this is obviously 
plain unsalted. So some people like salted, some don't. So I got some salt for you guys to use here. We have a couple biscuits left over from dinner last night. All right, who's gonna be first to try it? Okay. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> How is it? Good. Yeah. Are we on to something here? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Say bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Try this at home. It's Hi. It's Laura again. I wanted to quickly just show how to set this um, activity up. So I have my two chairs. And then under here, I just used a broom. And then I have some string tied. These are just latex surgical gloves. Um, I used a safety pin to poke a small hole in each fingertip, filled it with water, secured it with a rubber band. And again, this is acting as like the cow's udders and then just taught the kids that again, you grab between your thumb and forefinger and then use your other fingers you know, to kind of squeeze, and that mimics milking the cow. And as you can see, they drained it. They really enjoyed it. So hopefully your kids will too.